Well, a very big warm welcome to all of you out there in the greatest lands of YouTube. I was sitting down and I was having a little bit of a think. Man, I've gotten to experience some cool things in my life already. Besides the fact of watching my daughter just like... That was actually a pretty heavy day. But I got to see my daughter Lyric birthed into this world. It was crazy. We've even got a video of it. I'll link it in the description below. It was seriously awesome. But also at the same time a little bit scary because I, I had to watch Alyssa go through an extremely, let's say incredible process. But yeah, we've, we've I don't know, I was just sort of sitting down having a bit of a think about We've gotten to experience some really cool things and I, I wanted to give like a bit of an overview of what it's like living in a motorhome, living in a van, living in a caravan, living in a tiny house, living in a small space and again I want to share how cool of an experience it is and how worthwhile I think it is for humans to experience for at least a season of your life. And for us, we we honestly want to endure, we want to endure this lifestyle for as long as we can possibly handle. We want to have kids, lots of them. Well, enough kids to just have enough place for a soccer field. This is my overview on it all. The motorhome to America, incredible experience. I really miss that motorhome. We lived in that motorhome for about eight months traveling America, exploring all of the vastness and the beauty and everything. It was awesome. It was crazy. Check out all our videos. We've got over eight months worth of videos there where I tried to do you know, a video a day or a video every couple of days and got to explore some really cool places. Then we got back home and I wanted to travel a little bit around Australia so we did, we bought a transit van, we did the transit van conversion in a real simple format, love doing that, it was awesome. And we finished that up, we're back in the tiny house and this is what I want to do a little bit of now and my life is just like a whirlwind at the moment of the crazy ideas I want to explore so you got to bear with me but before we left to go to America I had, I had renovated an old 19 I think it was 80s or late 70s vintage caravan caravan for you guys in America is a bit I'm not sure what you guys think is a caravan but in Australia it's a tow behind a tow behind space that is awesome and you can take them camping and you can go off grid or you can go in caravan parks or motorhome parks things like that I know you guys use words for different things in especially England and America and so in Australia a caravan is a tow behind a picture of a tear um, and what I want to do is I want to find some really cool old vintage caravans and I want to renovate them and we did it with a caravan before we left in America and it took me I was working at the time full time so it took me about a month just made the interior look really nice made the outside tried to polish it as good as we could with the paintwork and put some nice chrome dome wheels on it and just made it I don't know just brought the old back to life and so I don't know there's something really really special about small spaces and there's something extremely special about making a small space special for you and you can take it wherever the flip you want you could take it on the coast and you could explore that beach and sit on watch the sunset and all those kinds of cool things or you could take it into the middle of the bush and put it next to a river and listen to the river and there's all kinds of things that you can do with a small space and that's why I'm passionate about it and my overview is do it seriously it has been without doubt the best times of our life the best holidays we have ever had that's pretty hard to say we've had some really good we've explored some really cool countries overview though a proper overview as a single guy I did a lot of van camping when I was younger it was freaking unbelievable as a single guy 
If I was a single guy, 100% I would be doing a stealth off-grid van. Some solar on the roof, very simple setup, nothing crazy. Like, I'm not talking like, so I've got a television and I can play my PlayStation. No, I'm not talking about that. If I'm living in a van, all I need to power is a fridge and enough so I can charge a phone or a laptop. Then the rest of my activities are outside. That's the whole reason why you want to be in a van. I got married. Alyssa and I thought we could do a fair bit van camping, so we did a lot. We explored a lot in the van, it was awesome. Then we had Lyric. Becomes a little bit trickier. Lyric was sleeping with us so we could do a little bit in the van. It needed to upgrade. When we went to America, we bought an RV. Oh my goodness, you guys shred at doing RVs in America. They are so good. You've got everything, like everything. I freaking love the RVs in America. I wish, I wish that I could have brought it back here. My whole, my whole theory and thoughts behind this kind of living is that, for one, it's freaking awesome. You got to try it. You got to do it. But then again, there might be people out there that think, why would I want to live in a tiny space when I can have a big mansion? And I get that too. But this is just my overview, you know? This is just my thoughts on living in a tiny space. Thanks for, thanks for hanging, thanks for watching my video. Appreciate you.